Welcome back. Serving up a group of shirtless servers with a side of dramedy. That's what's being dished out at the new play called Himbos, premiering tomorrow at the new Hazlitt Theater for a three show run. So joining me now to talk about it is the show's playwright, Brian Pope, along with Tyler Ray Kendrick and Jose Perez the fourth. And you both are actors in this play. Uh, so, so I wanted to start with you, Brian. What inspired you to write Himbos? Yeah, so Himbos is inspired by a real restaurant that existed like this. It was uh, a reverse Hooters where oh. it was, you know, the hot food, the short shorts, but they were men who worked there instead. And it took the internet by storm. It was on James Corden, uh, all over the place. And I just thought it was a great setup for a workplace comedy. That is awesome. Okay, so this is actually part of the New Hazlitt Community Supported yes. Art Series. Yes. So how has this program helped out? I mean, it's an amazing program for emerging artists of all disciplines, theater artists, musical artists, dancers, who can submit projects that they want to have produced and the, all the resources of the, the Hazlet are awarded to you. Uh, and this season includes an opera, a ballet, uh, live cinema. It's going to be a great series. That's amazing. Okay, so I'm going to ask both of you um, a little bit about your characters and what they go through. So I'll start with you, Tyler. What's your character? Uh, I play uh, Ari, a.k.a. Aristotle, um, who's like, uh, uh, he has some comedic moments, but also some dramatic moments that are a little bit uh, different than uh, my everyday life. Uh, it's sort of a departure from what I normally play. Um, I'm a stand-up comedian, so being in a play, and uh, uh, there's some moments that I kind of uh, reflect on my own life, and I have like some similar experiences to Ari, which is really cool. Oh, that's, that's fun. I love it. And then, what about you? My character's name is Kyle, uh, and he's a, a new parent, a young parent, and that's the thing he's really dealing with. So he has a lot of this uh, frenetic, no sleep energy, um, but is also, I would think, a lovable guy. Yeah. At least that's the way I'm trying to play him. <laughs> I love it. Okay, so back, Tyler, you had mentioned, um, you know, you're a comedian and you won Pittsburgh's Best Magazine for, the comedi for a comedian two years in a row. Amazing. But also, I, I know that we've done so many stories on this. I, I've read about this. There are so many different types of guy humors. So what's your, like, humor that you go? Um, you? Mine is essentially a Gen Xer trapped in a millennial's body. Ah. <laughs> That's what I'm going with. I love it. And then, <laughs> Jose, you're a playwriter yourself. Yes. Okay, so, you know, what do you enjoy the most about bringing his script to life? It's fun to do different roles in theater because when you're in one role and you see the other roles happen, you say, could you do this for me, please? Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then so when you're in the opposite role, as an actor, I try to do right by the playwright. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure this is what you want from an actor, so let me try. Yes. I'm not going to ask too many questions. Yeah. I'm just going to do the part you wrote. Absolutely. I, I love it. What's, not to get, I don't give too much away, yeah. but what's your, what's your favorite part of this play? Oh, okay. So there is an original song in the show that happens. It's a big moment crazy lights, there's audience interaction. That's gonna be like the highlight. I'm banking on standing ovation in the middle of it. We'll yes. see. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's, but that's so awesome. That's, this song not, doesn't win a Grammy. Best. Yeah, that's this, what we're going for. Okay, yeah. so if, if, if viewers have not been to the new Hazlitt Theater, yes. you're looking down. Right. So you're sitting up mm -hmm. um, and then you're able to look down. So you're able to interact oh, yeah. more. We bring a person on stage to interact with the Himbo staff in a oh. very special moment. Is this the Chippendales? This, there might be some, some Chippendales <laughs> moments. Know. There might be. <laughs> this I is say. so great. Yeah. Uh, so is this an all-male show? So we have one amazing uh, female actor, Gail Pazerski, who was playing the owner of Himbos. She used to work at Hooters back in her past. Oh. And she's come back to sort of reclaim the legacy and make it, make it new. Oh, so what's yeah. it like bringing all of these actors together to create this? It is a dream come true. Aww. They're all so game. They're so funny. They really jumped in fearlessly to do this very silly play, and I'm so grateful for them. I love it. And then, Tyler, I want to ask you, too, so you do comedy. Mm -hmm. Do you do any other comedy things around? Uh, besides uh, make my co-workers laugh. Yeah, um, <laughs> it has to be so fun at rehearsals. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. Um, I, I never stop in between things. Yeah. I'm always I hear you. Especially when I'm in RE mode. Yeah. I 
kind of phrase things like, this is an Ari question, oh my God. not a Tyler Ray Kendrick question. <laughs> oh, I love it. And, and you know what, just being, I used to do theater, but you become family. Totally. You really yeah. do. Yeah. I love it. All right. Well, thank you guys so much for joining thank me. You. Thank you. So excited for Himbos. And it is running at the new Hazlitt Theater for only three performances. Opening night is tomorrow at 8 with two performances on Friday. One at 10 in the morning and the other at 8 in the evening. The 10 a.m. performance is free through Rad Days. We'll have all of this information on our website, kdka.com slash talkpittsburgh. We'll